Hey, what's up guys? Today I have another tutorial for you guys. And it's on Thomcraft. Oh yeah. A guy in the comments wanted me to do a tutorial on Thomcraft and here it is. Sorry man. It took so long. I've been busy. Had finals, Jiu-Jitsu tournaments, and I've been doing work on my server. Well, further ado, let's get started. But before I start, I wanted to thank um, the new subscribers I got. And I currently have 3,400 views on my channel in total, which is pretty cool. But other than that, let's get started. So, you want to become a mage, don't you? Well, I'm going to teach you how. So, how do I get into Thomcraft? Well, first of all, you need to make some s certain things that I have in these fabricators. So, this is a Thomcraft thing. You will need a vial, glass vial. It's just three glass and one clay. You get eight vials. So once we got the vials, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, we go into this one and we make scribing tools. All that you need is a feather, a vial, and an ink sack. So what do we do with this scribing tool? Well, I'll show you in a second. Well, once you got the... Oh, sorry about that. Once we got the uh, vials, scribing tools, all that stuff, we need a table. The table's really easy to make. Two planks and three slabs. Once you get that, you will need your wand. The wand of the apprentice, which you are, guy, which you guys are, my apprentice. If you guys are watching this video. Okay, no, no, I'm just kidding. You guys are whoever you guys want to be. But anyways, you craft the Wand of Apprentice like this, which I have right here. There are three um, wands. Wands of the Adept and Wands of the Thaumat Surge. And as you go on in Thaumcraft, you'll be able to craft these. You'll find the research, which I'll show you what research is. And so on and so forth. This is a cauldron. This is like the normal vanilla cauldron. Cauldron. And it's just iron in a U shape. So once you got your wand of apprentice, you can just right click and you get this nifty crucible. It's called a crucible. You can put water in here. You have to put you need to um heat it up so you have the nether rack up on the bottom and flint and steel light it up. Cool. So once we got all of these stuff, we come into this thing. This is the table that we sh that I showed you how to craft earlier. And then you right click and you get the arcane work table which is pretty cool. It's like a crafting table and you can craft stuff and it'll still stay there. Um, you need this to craft certain thumb craft things. So we have two tables here. Once you grab your scribing tools, two tables, and you get this cool thing you get a research table and you can switch to thorough or cursory depending on how you want to do your research you're gonna need paper so keep that in mind make sure you have a read form somewhere oh, not one paper oh yeah sure you gave me infinite paper okay paper alright papers in there oops don't want to do that paper okay so now that we made all that stuff we're missing the most important part so you grab your wand of apprentice which you made earlier hopefully and you right click the bookshelf whoa what is that let's find out oh that's a thamamomicon no it's pronounced thamanomicon thamanomicon not thamamomicon all right so let's right click this thing and there's lots of cool stuff you can make Ooh, what's this what's this but pretty much this is how you get started um it'll give you some um things behind a thomcraft so the great wood trees are general are spawn um in the overworld or miscraft world silver wood trees are naturally spawned all of these are naturally spawned so there's things of there's aspects. So each thing has an aspect. See these uh see the wand 
and the rock and the crystals all of the things in uh, minecraft or the mod pack you're playing on will have aspects some mods are not compatible though so keep that in mind let's go over the aura aura is the viz in the air so i have my goggles of revealing on and as you can see the aura or viz is at 337 which is the general is the energy in the chunk 16 by 16 area and what's that's what that's for is uh you need aura to craft things in thomcraft so when you're putting stuff in this thing in the crucible then you will um need to use some of the energy in the area and you will need an infusion altar but that's later on in the game when you've done a little bit more research so flux that's the opposite of viz basically when you uh do things with thomcraft stuff like if you get a wand of lightning for example and you use it it'll use some of the viz and it'll create flux and as you can see right now the flux is high so you'll get warning messages and bad stuff will start to happen so you don't want the flux too high there's things to stop the flux but you'll find that out in a later stage of your thomcraft uh, career you can say so we have this scraping tool what do we do here all right I'll show you I'll show you how to get started so as you can see paper has these three aspects it has messes cognito and aqua so you can click on that and we already have a research going so use paper let's give it a little bit more paper as I can see we got cognito knowledge Keep clicking on it see now that that's learned right we don't need it anymore so let's put something else let's give it some magic since everything in thomcraft involves magic and bada bing bada boom you got magic right there and oh look you will believe this mystical device will point you in the nearby direction of nearby sources of mystical energy i don't know what that does oh the thomometer what does that do you'll find out shortly mechanisms i think piston have those piston piston yeah pistons awesome oh i'm missing oh more pistons oh there we go see and we've just discovered our first thing now usually the first thing you um, discover is nitor but this thing is cool too thomometer so let's read it you believe this mystical device will point you to a nearby direction of a nearby source of mystical energy so what that's saying is it'll bring you to the closest node there is there's four types of nodes there's an unstable node a normal node that just spawns in the area a pure node which you get from a silverwood trees and nodes you get from barrel hill they have like a kind of like a dark hole kind of thing like that's happening but bigger okay right click and thermometer research complete so as you can see now we can craft it in the arcane work table it takes 20 viz to create four gold and one water shard and basically what this does is brings you to the nearest node okay well that's pretty much it this is how you get started in thomcraft so as time goes on you can create more research Ooh, look i got another one see these will show up in like some weird um font but once you start doing more research they'll be once you start doing more research you'll uncover the hints well that's pretty much it so these can naturally spawn there's also a great wood tree which i couldn't get to grow and also these obsidian totems which you find you can find like portal guns in there silk touch sometimes you get fortune efficiency all those cool stuff i haven't looted this one yet so let's go oh my god holy crap look at all these portal guns and silk touch books just for me oh yeah nah it's okay i'll share with I'll share with my subscribers 
and my viewers too. They're cool. Thank you for watching the video. This is a brief tutorial. I'm not sure how long this is. Hopefully I didn't miss anything out. And subscribe. Um, it'll encourage me to make more videos, but regardless, I'll make videos because they're fun. Well, thank you guys for watching and have a good day. See you later.